Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 and Fuse to reload us into the match. I know the first is Harbinger, just swiftening level 24, box is my main good swag, this is 13 and the overrun neutral guy. Now, how do I rotate the camera? We got into the game so it had done that on its own. And I have no idea where to actually look that up. Um, camera rotate, Q and E I guess. Like soldier is tap, through soldier is shift, and turn go sky ranger. Right, cool. So there are actually shortcuts that may or may not be valuable to us. Um the Gazman, you are an odd creature. Good copy. That we did not target. expect to see here at all. Okay, uh chain. Affirmative. Out. You were completely expected on this expedition because you were the only one to survive that last little thingy. That was the tutorial. Uh, you have yet to make contact, so I'm yet to decide on actually what to do with that fellow. Alright, uh, Nico, you just run need to cover somewhere along the lines that's half cover over there Location getting that confirmed. it'll do alright and uh, evil fever also known as dick but for whatever reason he chose uh, he's gonna move over here and provide nothing of use maybe run into that cover but that's Probably not a good idea. Yeah, you'll keep with them as well. There's alien activity going on, but let's be fair. We have yet to make contact and I have no idea what's going on. So, it makes little matter for now. Let me know if you see anyone. You don't. Okay, I could move him up further, but I will not at this moment. Uh, Tickbot is the only one who can take this high cover here. Which is a really slim tree. Which, in my experience, isn't actually all that good cover. But it's it works. It works. I suppose. Uh, and it, uh, you know, because it's a tree, uh, it, he's not uh, as easy visible from the sky. Uh, though I suppose they don't actually use, you know, forces from above. So it doesn't matter. Alright, now, uh, chain. Run over there, and let's hope they are not on the left side of the road, waiting for us. That's gonna be nasty. Probably. Odds are. Position confirmed. And if you get over here, into this half cover again. I cannot have let, let you have any full cover for whatever reason. Should I just hunker them all down? Probably not because. I couldn't actually. Uh. We're gonna try this. Head you move over there. In case there's anything actually dangerous in this particular direction. Oh! You can no longer take the shortcut because I sent any ghost standing over there. Right, well, uh. In that case, I don't know. There's full cover here, just moving to that for now. We don't want to actually On my way. make any contact this round, so... We know there's gonna be contact soon enough. Roger that. We're just gonna avoid it for a moment. Shut up. Listen. Yeah, I, I know they're in that direction. <sighs> right. On the move. But you take a peek, see if you can see anything. You cannot at the moment. 
You can only make it up there. Do that. One. I suppose any ghost can open the door and see what's inside. That was not what I had in mind. Um, I just just walked out of cover. Heading there now. Jane, you try that instead, because apparently I don't know how to press buttons. Yes, open closed door. Is there anything inside that may be of use? Doesn't look like it. All right, that fire over there is dangerous. So. We can't make it over there right now. And they don't want to make it over there, I think. We could try. Position confirmed. I'm just hoping that the, the entire enemy unit is concentrated in that one position. So. Yeah, right over there. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Yeah, but that's gonna be... ...in a bit. Because I said, put Eniko in a very odd position Time and... Yeah. That fire is approaching on Eniko, so... Oh, she doesn't have to move through fire to get to the next position. Uh, okay, you can get up there. Let's do this. That's cool. Mm, he has eyes on enemy position already. There is no stabilized weapon thing here yet, is there? Probably not. Can you take that position? Without Location risk? Confirmed. Try it. He's not my friend, so he doesn't matter. And he's not one of those special NPCs, so, you know. It's okay if he dies a little. Running. But I need you to skip the turn, if you will. Mm. Right, I need everyone to move up a little bit, so... I don't need everyone to move up a little bit, but objective here. A few folks at least. Okay. You should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Enemy patrol on the move. So we found another patrol, which may put a little bit of a hamper on my initial idea here. Alright, well. Gazman's gonna keep that position. Eniko is going to Keep her position because she can fire at those two. And uh, Shane is gonna rush up here. Heading to that location. Okay, we're gonna see who has the highest hit chance on anyone. Um, we can keep her on Overwatch because reasons. Scanning. You. 70% on that guy and 68% on that guy, but that is going to be, I think, the most more ideal solution. So, back it off. You? Uh, that means you're gonna overwatch and you are going to overwatch and you are going to fire upon that bastard. Yes, do it. And we got an achievement. Target disabled. Oh, well, Gosman got a promotion from that. that? 
I think the achievement probably means that we did well. Kill confirmed. We both didn't dealt maximum damage for that. So Eniko's the only one without the promotion now. These guys she needs one. Did she get a promotion from that? Yeah, she did. Okay, everyone got a promotion from this round. We got him on the run. Except for the ranger, but she already had one, so... Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today. Alright, uh, Dickbutt, I need you to run Going ahead. Out. You don't have eyes on the enemy, which bothers me a fair bit. I'm on it. This might not have been the best situation for Overwatch, but... Uh, Alright, you get in that full cover move, over there. Move, move. So we can get an eye on the enemy, maybe. No, no, still no eye on the enemy. Yeah, Nico, you move, move up there. Move. The enemy should be in that direction, so we should be safe moving in said direction. On my way. Wait, that that kind of makes very little sense, indeed. Uh, you put on the second order much, just in case. Right, we got no eyes on the enemy at all. And no one is able to make it to that position in this turn. Right, uh, at what range can it be hacked from? Like, can it... Is this a safe enough distance? Like, can you use that distance? You'll appreciate the sacrifice chain if this shit goes wrong. Hmm... This is very, very unpleasant, to say the least. I have no idea where the enemy is currently positioning, so Affirmative. Moving out. we just, uh, you know, Overwatch. putting on some overwatches and stuff and uh, hoping for the best. That's also a safe position to stand in, so do that. Alright, overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. Commander, the converter is near collapse. It's about to blow. It's fine. Shane, can you handle it from over there? No, you can't. You have to move there. Now. Come on, Doesn't do it. Hurt to check. Well, it's... You know. Ooh. Well, there's no chance of getting that, so let's go with Vajris. Oh! So close! So close. This device didn't have a detonator, it was just over. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Alright. Cosman, move. move up. We still have absolutely no sight on said hostiles. Alright. Moving to designated position. We'll do a bit of uh, the old flanky like positioning. Okay, uh that is really bad for her. Heading to that location. Like she has she's in no cover at all. That makes little yeah. difference because I have very little knowledge of where the enemy may be. Oh! We've got the sectoid. Oh. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their structure now includes DNA. They are stronger than ever. With an even greater psionic potential. Well, the sector is almost down. Don't know most. Uh, well, Gosman has the best chances here, and oh, so that's how I can switch to those. All right, back off for now. Eniko, what's what's 
How's it looking? 26% chance to hit that bastard. If you move a little bit closer, does it improve your chances? Not by a whole time lot. Alright, you'll just overwatch. Keep an eye on those buggers. While you. Uh, take out the trooper. If you can. You cannot. They did get rid of that wall. So, you know. Where's that officer? Like, I'm really worried about that initial officer we had. Oh, that's a really good chance. Take it. Well, it's a 50 50, but you know, it's about a 50 50 in my favor. And now I need to get over there. Weapons burning ammo fast. And Shane needs cover. Rolling. Who could have guessed? Take the chance. Well, okay, no my that. I'll get him next time. I take your word for it. You need to move in on those artifacts. This is bad. Oh shit, that was actually bad. Yeah, that wasn't gonna hit. Shot failed to connect. Fuck. Not being in cover is a bad situation to be in. Oh, well. Finding appropriate cover is currently... Slightly That's more difficult. Okay, you can get a shot on the officer. Or the trooper. But I think the officer is a better solution right now. Except you missed. That is not good. That is indeed not good. My weapon's spent. Can you just kill that? No. Okay. Is this good enough cover? I think so. Understood. Moving out. Take that. Target eliminated. We're gonna have some seriously wounded here. people here. You're not out of firepower yet, you still have one shot. Make it count. I'd say that counted. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, they can prove highly effective. Alright. Can this be the right situation then? Looks like it. Accomplished. Did we do we get that item there now? Or is it gone forever because I was too quick? Oh well. We're returning to base. We did well on Operation Bone Good. Boner God. No, it's still just Bone God. And this will mean that I will be able to look at my actual list of people that I have and replace anyone I need to replace with someone else. Yes. Keep in chain though. A few of our people earned well deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you too. Alright. 
Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. All right, sure. What's that button do? Oh, it allows you to actually look at everything those things do. Well, he's a wounded one, so then we have a specialist. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Nifty. All right. And anything? You get a big gun. Serving as you get big guns. Experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. <laughs> yeah, she gets to fuck shit up. That's cool. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander. I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. All right. Tell me more. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. <laughs> Okay, now we're moving down to engineering because we're still in tutorial statuses. That's nice. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know, a ship? He would have loved I know to show you ship. around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. And you, Rover. And, and Shen, I suppose. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. Uh, I suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. Alright, you can build the med kit. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. Alright, but uh, where's... Ooh. Can I click there? Can I click there? No, I cannot click anywhere right now because we are still... being... Lead. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... 
It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Well, I have some corpses. You know, we the Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. All right. Well, here you see we have that thingy, but also, uh, what's this? That's three days. That's three days. Everything is three days that I'm interested in. Okay, let's go for the officer. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Okay, you want me to go to the bridge, but we can go to the armory now, can we? View soldiers. Let's see. So, there's like... Uh, well, pumping my gump is good. Uh, these two... Should be here. And... This is the wrong name as well. Let me see what I can do about that. I don't know if I can actually, you know, simply replace them. Because I don't think that's actually possible. <laughs> Look at that one. Silly. Everyone is silly looking. Yes. That's what they get. They get to look silly. Uh. Did you get uh, any unlocks in the ways of hair now? No. All oh, right, you have new weapons, so you need new weapon buttons, don't you? Let's see. Probably not played. A thunder looks really nifty on everything there, so let's go with that. No new things here. Any new hats? No, actually. There's less options here than there were in the initial menu. No, oh, that's cool. I guess. But let's see. That'll do. That'll do. I think. Right, I don't need, think I need to save these changes to the character pool just yet. If this I can unlock to where half the hair is shaved, then that's where we may use that. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Who the fuck has that haircut? <laughs> okay. Right, well... There's really not much that can be done about these. Well... What can we do? They... Are literally... Set to die. Well, we can recruit ourselves. Uh, I'm not actually Swedish, but I'm gonna recruit myself. And then there's some random characters here as well, as well as people I do need to recruit at the point. But uh, I don't know if we currently have the supplies to do so. We needed me though. We needed me because I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna lead from the field because that's that's the way I wanna do things. Yeah. Back to the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter. Understood. Commander. Good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer, yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Lift off. Also known as this is actually how the game Setting works. Course it? For sector 10, Eastern United States. Also, we're very near the end. Now we're going to the states. Huh. All right. Does that the? Uh... We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. All right, let's look at the target. Operation Dying Dung, protect the device. And we get an engineer. Uh, that sounds really handy because we, I don't think we have any engineers at like yet. All right, confirm. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Of course my character needs to look silly. What are you talking about? Uh, we don't need to bring this guy. And we don't need to bring... Gazman. We're gonna have... One squad with us? But otherwise we just bring rookies like Matt and... Uh, Alice. Yeah. Now everyone gets to look silly. Except Eniko is all serious business over there. Yes. Okay. Who gets to bring the thing? I think uh I think I'll bring the thing. Yes. I'll bring the thing. The thing that is the medicate. Is there anything we can do regarding this? No girl, no. Don't only have an assault rifle available. Resistance warrior killer armor. What's the. Is there a difference? Oh, there is a difference. This. Is, was there a stat difference? Does it look like it? So basically, I, it's possible to just turn around with a t shirt. Alright. I think I'll go back with the usual killer armor. Do I have a raging suspicion all of my customization got destroyed for that? Maybe not. And certainly form a weapon there. <sighs> right. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, since I can't do that, wait, I right. Load that first, then I can move it onto whatever. Just give me a moment here. I'm gonna see what happens. There's no arms options here. No legs options here. But there's different shirts, apparently. There's... So these things change the entire outfit, basically. And that's cool. I think this is okay for uh, this character. That is meant to resemble myself. Right. Let's see. Let's give it that and a color and 
then I will not touch anything else regarding customization right now. Though there's still a lot more we could do that could be interesting. But we'll let it be for now. Launch. Deployed. The squad is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. And they will. Of course, once again. Set up a data tap on the Advent network through an access point in this area. They've been retrieving data critical to the aliens' latest operation. Unfortunately, Advent picked up on the signal and are moving to destroy the emplacement. We need to move in and eliminate any hostile forces threatening that device. Right. Anyway, what was I saying? Basically, we're gonna do what we did last time. We're gonna get on position and then just leave it there for now. That'll be fine. Oh, hey, I instantly got cover. Nice. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Right. Anyway, I'll call it here for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.